Greetings, so today we are going to be talking about how you can add in a rotation to your Skybox, SkySphere. Uh, seems to, uh, to give the immersion that your space station or our spaceship is actually rotating. And it's actually relatively simple to make. Now I'm not going to go over how to actually make an entire SkySphere, because there's already tutorials out for that. So, Let's see here, start by deleting the edited one, then we will go in and drop in a skybox that does not rotate, like you can see here, no rotation, and just double click the asset and go in here and add in an event begin play, add a timeline, let's call it Sphere Rotation, I'll double click the timeline and add in a float vector track. Now right click and select, add a key and put that to zero, add in a second key, put that to whatever it is, links you have, I'll put it on five second by default, and put it to 360, which would basically represent the 360 degrees that is on a rotation. Now back in the event graph, you drag out your skybox here and extend from here and select set relative rotation. I'll hook this up here and right click and split the shroud pin and adding the track into whatever rotation it is that your direction is in. And currently it's named new track zero, so let's just for sake of simplicity, rename it to rotation speed. Compile and save and let's hit play. Whoa. Yeah. Doesn't look uh, too good and it doesn't really work too well because it's going in the wrong direction and it was way too fast. So what do we do here? We go into the timeline again. Be sure you add loop. And in the event graph, you change the rotation to the correct one here. In my case, it would be the Y pitch. And break the link here. Compile and save. See if that works. Yep, it is now rotating continuously, but it is way too fast. It's actually very nauseating to go at that speed, more nauseating than my voice. So what we need to do here is actually figure out how fast it should actually be. And for that, there is a website called uh, SpinCalc. I'll link this in the description. And basically, all you need to do is add in the radius. Like you can select the uh, meters, feet, kilometers, miles, whatever you need. Now the radius of my station is 95.5 meters. You see here that is rotations per minute. That would be give it a rotation speed of 20 seconds. So let's see how that works in 20 seconds. Twenty seconds and right click on this second here, put the end time at 20, compile, save, and let's see how it looks. A much gentler rotation now, but it's even though this is scientifically the correct speed. Uh, it's still too fast because it'll still make you nauseate. So let's put it up to 120 seconds. Zoom out here and click here. Oh, right, I want to compile, save, and let's see here. There we go. It's already a much gentler rotation in itself. And that's this basically all you need to do. Like you could probably add in more effects to it. Uh, like if you want a spe specific rotation, a specific effect, like if you were on a planet, you wanted to go counterclockwise or clockwise or up and down and whatnot. But basically for this project, this will do. Now I'll just quickly go over it again here. Basically, Add in a vent begin play, add in a timeline, 
and set up the time and rotation that you need and then basically just drag in your sky sphere and set relative rotations and hook it up and then just save that should basically do it yeah and i believe that do, does cover everything for today